thanks for joining me today guys in this plan with me we're gonna be doing the whatever the next two weeks are and we're gonna be doing the week of let's see here the 15th and the 22nd as you all probably know I'm not good at being social on social media, so I completely miss the Black Lives Matter planner challenge spread for the week of June 8th. So I'm going to make up for it by doing that this week, the 15th week, in the, in the week of the 15th, you know, this time. And then we'll do something else that I come up with in the back of my mind for this week. So the Black Lives Matter planner challenge was to do black and white only on a spread and use quotes from influential. It was started by Queen Fancy Plans and katie did underscore plans black and white only include uplifting quotes by inspiring black leaders you can either letter these yourselves or print and adhere them to your pages use the hashtag blm planner challenge to promote your support within the planner community it is really important to me that i even address this because it is something that i feel very strongly about it's ridiculous that it's gotten to this point honestly and as a rule we talk about and discuss things that we believe in and we don't hide behind those things say we i mean me i would prefer to type something out like a quote or whatever on the computer or print out a picture and then glue it in but like i do not have that kind of patience level right now like that would just stress me out i don't know i think i make it hard for myself a hundred percent but it still stresses me the fuck out. I made like a whole sleeve of stuff I wanted to use for it. I think I got some good shit in here. Back, straight back, all right. I found my people of color. So this might be like my only color. I want I mean, I want to use these. I feel like it's important to, especially like her. She looks like she's got all the fucking power in the world. Let's put in headers first. <laughs> Okay, Audre Lorde was an American writer, feminist woman, librarian, and civil rights activist. That's cool. Librarian, hello. She was a self-described black lesbian mother warrior poet who dedicated both her life and her creative talent to confronting and addressing injustices of racism, sexism, classism, heterosexism, and homophobia. So I cannot let her at all, so all I can do is transition between print and cursive, which my print handwriting is half cursive anyway. So about that, the cool thing about Desmond Tutu is one day I was in the special collections section of my library in college and um, I was working on other stuff and I found this picture of Desmond Tutu like dancing or something with with the, some of the college staff like it was it was a really cool picture he's been to my school a couple times I think because I asked them about the picture and they said yeah he comes here a lot like like it wasn't a big deal or whatever but yeah that was so cool i was like what so desmond tutu is a south african anglican cleric and theologian known for his work as an anti-apartheid and human rights activist i thought there would be a little bit more than that <laughs> This one is from Ida B. Wells Barnett, and she, I remember her name, I couldn't remember why, and then I looked her up, was an American investigative journalist, educator, and an early leader in the civil rights movement. She was one of the founders of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Oh my god, she has my birthday. That is cool as fuck. She was born in 1862, and she's beautiful. Not that that matters, but she is. So even though it looks like a five-year-old wrote all these with their five-year-old hand, it was me. Angela Yvonne Davis is an American political activist, philosopher, academic, and author. She is a professor emerita at the University of California, Santa Cruz. Okay, so I did my quotes. I love them. keys and I've been waiting for a key to pop up because I know I have them I just don't know where they are right now or ever but yeah I was just waiting for one to pop up so I could put it right there
turned out. I really, 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 really like this. Okay, beautiful. Love it. And then for this week, let's see. This is not the right schedule at all. That is actually for this, so fuck my life. Great, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm not gonna change anything on that because you never know, it could be the same. His boss has made him work the, has made him work the same schedule like the past three weeks. Okay. I love the way that these turned out. They're both beautiful. But both of these causes, you know, Pride and Black Lives Matter, mean a lot to me. Obviously, you know, I'm on the learning side of things, so always willing to learn. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, click on that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you get notified of all the videos on this channel. And I'll uh, see you next time. Bye.